Minecraft has been a profoundly popular game for players of all ages for several years. Its popularity has baffled many, but there are actually several reasons why a game like Minecraft was destined to be successful. As a screen therapy review, I'll be focusing on what Minecraft does for players psychologically and emotionally. After all, Minecraft and other popular games only hold on to their players by giving them important psychological and emotional experiences, something that Minecraft has been doing consistently for years. First, Agency. Minecraft is all about freedom and exerting control on the environment. This is the feeling of agency, a crucial psychological resource we all crave and seek to replenish regularly. When you load into a new map and see a fresh new world, there's a spark of joy for players. An excitement to just start running around, exploring, mining, building, and carving out a little place for ourselves into the environment. It's exhilarating to have so many options and to discover new ways to make life easier and more beautiful in the Minecraft world. There's always something to see, something to learn, and something to do. Players can spend hours perfecting the proportions of their homes, trying out different materials and decor, tending to their animals and farms, spending virtual days exploring the landscape and meeting the locals, or packing up and going off on a nail-biting adventure. The world of Minecraft is both clearly defined and complex. Players learn the predictable physics and mechanics easily and quickly, but the journey to learn recipes and the innovative uses of items is never-ending. In fact, the game itself is also never-ending. This is a great balance between the feelings of control while enjoying the simple aspects of play in Minecraft, and the suspense of seeking out challenges and new experiences to enjoy the benefits of mastery and agency, both of which contribute to positive well-being. This makes Minecraft a highly customizable experience unique to every player. Gameplay can be adapted very quickly to best meet our mood management needs and our psychological desires. Players can relax, enjoy the music, engage in feelings of awe at the quiet natural surroundings, and focus on general housekeeping or meticulous projects. All nice activities for when you're stressed or tired, helping you recover psychological resources used up by school, work, or other stressors in life. Or, players can focus on problem-solving and strategy by confronting adversaries or opportunities for exploration that are common throughout the world. When we crave social connection with others, the multiplayer option for Minecraft helps us fulfill those needs as well. We can play with others in coordinated games of make-believe, building funny houses together, hunting creepers, spelunking through scary caves, and sharing the ups and downs of each adventure. Studies show that games like Minecraft improve our social skills and help us feel more connected to others. This highly adaptable form of play that we get from Minecraft makes it a one-stop shop for fulfilling most of our entertainment needs. And this is why Minecraft is so popular, and why we might be surprised by the amount of hours we spend playing it. Looking back at our gameplay hours in games like Minecraft might be alarming. But we can look at our play habits to learn more about what feelings we might be missing out on in our day-to-day -day lives that we're unconsciously seeking out in the world of Minecraft. If we're concerned with playing too much of Minecraft or other games, instead of shaming ourselves into going cold turkey, we can try to learn more about ourselves and what psychological resources we're trying to stock up on during our play. After all, if we're unconsciously using a game as a means to cope with difficult feelings, taking away our mood management tool without understanding what benefits we were gaining from it might end up causing more pain than we think. This is the importance of mindful gaming. If we learn that we're looking for rest and relaxation in our gameplay, we might realize it's because our everyday lives are a bit too stressful right now. If we're looking for the feeling of control and mastery at the end of an adventure, we might recognize that we haven't been feeling in control or competent in our real lives lately. And if we're looking for a quick mood boost, it's probably because we're in a low mood and have limited resources to bring it back up, prompting us that we might need to build a bigger toolbox for mood management. I found that setting my intentions before playing Minecraft and other games was very helpful for this reason. Before loading in, I would acknowledge my emotions and my mood, and predict what I might need from playing, and keeping this in mind, I felt naturally ready to stop playing once I had achieved my emotional goals. Self-expression and discovery In the end, Minecraft has been a mainstay for so many gamers because of its ability to conform to the player's intentions. We can interact with almost everything and change almost anything. When we explore our worlds and map out our homes and towns, we're also mapping out ourselves. 
By expressing ourselves in games, we are spending crucial time with our own thoughts and having a conversation with our inner selves, learning more about our interests, our priorities, and who we are when there are no rules, expectations, or pressures to perform. Minecraft is a game that encourages self-expression and self-discovery through creativity, which is very beneficial for our emotional well-being. In conclusion, Minecraft offers us the perfect arena to enjoy complete agency and control over our environment, which is very healing when we feel a little pinched by our place in society and maybe a little out of control too. Minecraft is also a great tool for optimizing our moods, recovering from stress, challenging our problem-solving skills, sharpening our spatial reasoning and logic. It's also a tool for playing with others in fun and collaborative ways, and to learn more about ourselves through creativity. Like with any media encounter, we can get the most benefits by playing mindfully and paying attention to our intentions. Every so often when you're reorganizing or exploring a cave, tune into why you're playing, why it's fun, and what the game is providing you, and you'll find a lot more benefits by the time you log out. Minecraft is a uniquely recommendable game. It can match anyone's playstyle and provide them almost anything they might need from play, because your journey in Minecraft is completely what you make of it. I recommend it to anyone who might be looking for a chance to experience freedom, agency, or would like to spend a little time tinkering with their thoughts while building a cobblestone skyscraper. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more about media psychology and games and movies, please subscribe and leave a comment suggesting any other games or movies you'd like to see covered. And as always, happy playing.